I'm Allison Maldonado, owner and artist of Panchita Designs, and this is another episode of Panchita Pots, where I pot one of my little plant friends in one of my Panchita Designs. Let's go. All right, so I made a little visit to one of my local uh, plant stores that I love so much, and I saw this plant up high on a shelf, and it had this little piece of paper in it that said, underrated, you should buy this. And I thought, well, if that isn't a sign, then I don't know what is. So it was this guy. This is a Christmas cactus, which I'd actually never heard of before. This is a tropical cactus rather than a desert cactus. And it's called the Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving cactus or holiday cactus because it blooms beautiful red flowers around the holiday season. I really love this guy. Uh, the promise of blooming flowers got me really excited. So I hope that happens. And I'm ready to give him a new little home in one of my Panchita designs. Perfect for the holiday season. I thought, why not put him in my little Twilight Lovers Pottery? This is a new design that I've been working on for a while, and I absolutely love how this turned out. I would say a good 60, 70% of the art that I do is usually focused on the cosmos, focused especially on the sun and the moon. I absolutely love the sun and the moon. I can't stop painting them. Um, I just love their energies. I love how they influence who we are, how our world is. The Aztecans believed that the sun had very fierce, strong, masculine energy. It was very harsh. And then of course they believed that the moon was, you know, much more uh, a feminine energy, very, very loving, but extremely powerful. She will turn the tides. So I love to join them together in my art, give them personality. And I think it just came out in a really playful, and lovely way and I think it'll be a perfect home for our Christmas cactus. So let's get potting you guys. So I just have kind of your basic cactus potting soil here. Uh, since this is a tropical cactus and not a desert cactus, reading up on the Christmas cactus, uh, I guess it thrives when the top inch of soil actually remains moist. So you don't water it often, similar to other cacti, you water it, you know, every two weeks or so, but you do want to continue to keep the soil at the top, I guess, a little bit moist. So I'm going to be sure to spray this guy often. up on the Christmas cactus, I guess, I mean, these guys can live a really, really long time. I mean, if you take good care of them, they can live, uh, kind of sounds like forever, but like up to like 30 years, which I think is pretty cool. I love purchasing a plant that I can really grow with as a person while it grows. Um, so I'm excited to see how this one will do in our new pot. Oh, I think he looks so cute in there. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for him to bloom. Of course, with all of pan the Panchita designs, they come with the drainage hole on the bottom. So I provide a little dish and we'll put him in the front. All right, I think he looks so darling in his new home. If you would like to purchase your own Twilight Lovers Pottery, you can do that by contacting me at alisonmaldonado.com or at itgirlallison or Panchita Designs on Instagram. This design can be customized. It can come in a larger size, a smaller size. We can do different colors for you. I think it's the perfect way to spice up your home. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Leave me a little comment and I will see you next time. Adios. <laughs>